In today's video, we're going to be awakening the mythical legendary light fruit. Now, the light fruit is known as one of the single-handedly best grinding fruits in the game. So let's put that to the test and let's awaken this fruit. All right, so before we can even awaken the light fruit, first we must eat the fruit. All right, so we got the fruit right here and I'm just going to nom nom down on it. Let's go. Nom, Slapping nom, my face nom, against nom, the edge of the fruit and we magically have the light fruit. Now, light fruit's first move is nothing special. It's just basically a single-handedly attack, but this fruit gets insanely good as you start to awaken the abilities all right guys so while i could just slap some npcs with a light ray five million times i have a slightly better idea now if you guys do not know this location this is the location of the cake queen whose cheeks may or may not be slapped so like the solution to every problem blocks fruits robux is the solution so i'm gonna summon the big mob boss you guys probably know this boss gives tons and i mean absolute tons of mastery you guys will see so so pretty much i'm gonna just smack my light ray into her face for like 30 minutes straight and you guys will see you know what you know what let's hit big mom with the oh all right never mind let me miss every single ability that's it it's time oh look at that combo so i'm pretty much just gonna smack the big mom boss with light ray oh wait i forgot light fruit actually has like a melee attack i forgot that's so good that's so good for grinding man you guys don't even know that's amazing like actually well not right now because i'm almost dead look at my hp man big mom do damage all right let's finish her with the m1s oh finish her with the light ray dude look at this mastery oh my gosh four million wait are we gonna unlock every single ability immediately <laughs> Bro, we actually unlocked every single ability. Well, we're gonna do a big mob a few more times to get the mastery up so I do a little bit more damage with light. But like, this is insane. I, I've completely forgot light fruit so small on the mastery. Oh my gosh, 150 levels from one singular boss fight. All right, BRB. All right, guys, so I'm gonna be honest. I honestly think I was underrating this light fruit. So just farming the big mob boss, this fruit is like legitimately insane. Like this is the unawakened version, by the way. We'll see how good the awakened version version is but i'm pretty much just rotating through the abilities right now and the damage is absolutely absurd like the aoe of this fruit is great the damage is great the cooldowns are great this fruit is freaking amazing unawakened i'm excited to see how it is awakened all right guys so to do the light raid you actually have to have a fruit like this so i'm gonna have the quake fruit normal raid boom let me click the next button and then the light so i could trade a physical fruit for a special microchip boom there we go special microchip and it is time for the light raid now for Unfortunately, light is actually an insanely good grinding fruit, so this shouldn't be that hard. Normally, I die. I have died quite a lot during the raid, so, uh, you know, this is a little embarrassing, but it happens, guys. Oh, yes. This is so new to me. I don't own a single fruit with, like, any fast flight move. That feels so nice. Just being able to fly from island to island, man. The legendary flight move. I'm hoping to actually get some mastery, but, like, these NPCs that spawn on this island, they give, like, no freaking mastery when you kill them. Like, almost borderline none. Like, look at this. I'm gonna smack this guy real quick or he's gonna smack him. <laughs> See? 1,000. Literally 1,000. What is that, man? I get more mastery from first sea NPCs. I think we're on the final island. I'm not sure, though. I completely forget how raids work because I haven't done one in a little while since uh, the Phoenix video I made. Oh, man. Look at me slapping these boys with my spear. So weird to have a melee attack with my fruit, man. All right. This is the last island. The Pyramid. The Pyramid of Giza. Pyramid of D. Nut. The boss spawned inside of the pyramid. Am I missing something here? Oh, look at this. Oh, dude. This is the map from Elemental Wars, man. Oh, we're slapping the boss up. Look at this. Oh, man. Look at the light boss. I think he's dead, guys. He, I think he's dead. He's done so. It is time to awaken the first ability of light. With the first ability, don't I get like a new trident? Greetings, mortal. Yes. Ascend me. Oh, wait. I don't even have... Okay. I guess I have to awaken all of them to get a new weapon, right? Don't, don't you get like a trident or something? I got the new first ability, though. Divine arrow. Oh, yeah. Look at that bad boy all right so we're grabbing the chip again boom shakalaka and let's get right into the raid all right guys so i'm gonna just tune back in at the end of the raid during the boss fight so uh brb all right guys so we just defeated the boss and i'm going to awaken the next move of light which is 2,000 fragments which is a lot of fragments by the way uh i hope i have enough to fully awaken light but the second ability is the barrage of light this is kind of like one of the main damage abilities wait oh my bad the next one we unlocked was shining flight which just means that we could actually move our movement without bouncing off a wall which is pretty cool but yeah divine arrow guys this 
this move is amazing. Like, it does so much damage to the enemies. It's crazy. All right, so we're on the final island yet again, and it's time to show you guys the power of the divine arrow. Let's go down here. I'm gonna show you guys. Look at this. You ready? Full charge. Boom. 8,000 damage right there. Oh, no. I'm getting melted. The boss melted me, man. Look at this. Oh, 11k damage right there. Look at that damage. That fat damage amounts. Man, dude, I feel like I underrated light fruit so hard. Like, this is actually, like, really, really good. It's kind of crazy how good this is. Like, I can just only imagine how good the awaken abilities are. Time for the boss to go down. One more divine arrow. Boom. Killed the boss. Oh, that's 100,000 mastery right there. That's not bad, man. All right. Raid's completed. It's nice that you get fragments while completing the raid, though, right? Look at that, man. Mysterious entity. Ascend me. New X ability. Hand of the Emperor. Look at this ability, man. Oh, yeah. The light beam. The freaky deaky light beam. Man, we're getting there, man. Look at that. Look at these abilities. They look fresh. Boom. Boom. Oh. Oh, he said I'm a testing dummy for real. Look at this dude. All right. Testing dummy time. Hi -ya! Oh, I missed. <laughs> I want to see how much damage this ability does. All right, you know, it's not bad. It's honestly not anything amazing. This ability, though, does so much damage to players. Light, man. This this fruit's crazy. Only light fruit awaken move challenge. <laughs> it's not going to be very hard because the moves are crazy good, though. Oh, my gosh. I literally can't see anything. All right, look at this. Slap him with my spear. Boom. All right, it's time to test. All right, I see the point of the move now. It's kind of like a damage over time move. Probably use it with a stun or something like that. The move seems all right. I kind of like the other move more, though. Guys, let me know in the comments, but I definitely feel like the old X move is actually better. Like, for damage and combos and just grinding and stuff. Like, this move is definitely is not bad, but I just, like, it seems like it's harder to get the damage output. So, I know that Divine Arrow does more damage when you hold it down, but oh my gosh, this fruit. It's time to slap. You ready? Oh, he hit me. Oh, oh, 20,000 damage. All right, let's hold it down. Boom. 5k damage right on there, man. Oh, no. Not this island. It's the island nobody likes. Island 4. You know what, sir? Get a beam to the face. All right. You know what? I'm starting to see the X move being pretty decent against bosses and stuff like that. That's some pretty decent damage there. 4,000. Definitely think the old one is better, but hmm. Interesting. Time for the boss island. The freaking pyramid from Elemental Battlegrounds, man. The boss spawned in and instantly got slammed into the ground. It is what it is, man. The boss getting slammed just like normal, bro. Oh, you can handle this. You can handle the light fruit. Full charge. The boss got slammed so hard, he launched up to the ceiling. Boy, is in the ceiling, man. Bro, the boss just disappeared again, man. It's all right. We got the legendary hand of the emperor. Definitely better for bosses. I'll say that. Oh, oh, I thought that was the last NPC. I thought it was cool. Let's kill the last NPC. Boom. Earned 1,000 more fragments. Let's go. I don't know what this means, but you know, he's a prophet. <laughs> it's time to ascend. Awaken my C ability. Okay, I'll have enough to awaken light. Light speed destroyer. Oh, there's a pirate raid going on right now. Let's check this out. Oh, okay. I definitely have to land that ability on somebody, which is going to be pretty hard. I got a fragment. All right, you ready? Hiya. All right, you know. Okay, so that ability, I can tell it's amazing with God human. It's like like a dash ability that does a bit of damage. Let's finally unlock the final ability. We're on the final raid. Wait, I want to see if I can combine the C ability of God Human with the C ability of Light. You ready? All right, it's time. Oh, I might have to do it with the Z ability of this. I'll try it out later in the raid. These guys have, don't have enough HP. All right, let's try it. C? Oh, oh my gosh. You could definitely do that. You could definitely do God Human Z, Light C into God Human C. I can guarantee you, you can do that. That is crazy, man. Bro, that damage, that damage though, like boom, boom. That is crazy. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this fat damage. I love that move so much. That move, that dude, Light C move is so fun to use. That is crazy. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Boom. Oh, I almost did it. Actually, I almost did the combo. The three combo. Then after God Human C, you can just do anything. You can just follow up with like Light Z or whatever, man. Oh my gosh, the damage. I want to see if that's even possible to do Light C into God Human C, man. We're on to the final island of the final ray to awaken the light fruit. Honestly, like the boss spawning down here is so annoying, but it's okay. Oh, boss just got launched through the map. It is what it is, I guess. I feel like this raid's gonna be down to the wire, man. I gotta put in my work. Get him. Don't let him escape. Oh, yes. All right. Th this move is definitely good against bosses, though. Oh, I'm gonna kill the boss. Let's go. Oh, no. It's a 1v1. Combo in the boss. Hey, I got the last kill of the raid. Let's go. Last kill of the raid with the last raid. It's time, guys. We're awakening our last 
move. Wrath of God, by the way. I think this is just a better move of the old V. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's try out a combo. I think I got a combo down. It's time. Soaring Beast, Lightspeed Destroyer, Wrath of God. And oh, the damage. Let's go. <laughs> the light fruit, man. The light fruit. Let's go. Let's do it again. Soaring Beast, Lightspeed Destroyer, Wrath of God. Oh, and then you finish it. 14,000. Look at that, man. Look at that. The damage of the light fruit is nuts. This fruit, man. The light fruit. Oh my gosh. What do you guys think about the light fruit? Right in the comments from 0 to 10. I'm giving light fruit a solid 8, man. This fruit's amazing for grinding. It's amazing for PvP. This fruit is dope. Get him! Oh, I killed him again. It ball crusher. <laughs> he said, okay, never mind. I'm trash. The life fruit wins again. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video or if you guys want to see more noob to pros, hit that like button, subscribe, guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.